Yes, a roasting. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Fash. In case you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today we are going to make a village Christmas tree. The village we just cut a tree like this and then we decorate it. So I'm going to show you the process. I hope you enjoy. Can you like, share, and subscribe? So guys, we are tying the three pieces together because one of them, if you use one, it's going to be very thin. So you put three together to make like a tree, a Christmas tree, the shape of the Dover tree. Because in the village, most of the people here can't afford to buy a Christmas tree. This is how they do it, to enjoy the Christmas too. Provides, and we use the trees we grow around our homes, just like we are doing right now. And we decorate it with flowers and lights. It looks as beautiful as the one that is bought in the shop. Enjoy the video. The best tree to use is this cypress tree because it grows and gives a shape like a cone as you can see and it gives the best feeling because it's natural and you know the tree has a scent it gives it the house during Christmas. It's an advantage, okay? And village vlogs are always beautiful. Hi guys! The remains that come from these ends, the next room. Village people's kids also improvise their own games because we've closed school and they are home, there's many of them. So they create their own games. Look, look at this one. I am. <laughs> so I'm not scared. I'm Tony Gonga. I want to send this. So the boys are riding the girl, the girl in the group. One, two, three. Una skia je klo? Bizi bizi. Nia te kuare kod. Wa. We can decorate from there because it's almost raining in the village. Also, we get rain so much, and it's the season of uh, you know good tidings. So I'm going to carry this to the house and put it in a pot. And I'm going to put it in a pot by the way. We're gonna see that. So guys, we decided to come and do it from the outside because the tree was too tall and also it wasn't, it wasn't getting in the, in our vase. So we had to come do it from our side and this is how it's going. We have trimmed the, the edges that were popping out and we want to attach these ones so they don't, they don't hang out as they were hanging before. So yeah, let me know if you like this kind of vlogs. If you do, give me a thumbs up and leave me a sweet comment.
<laughs> so guys, we're using a uh, thread tie ends like this because they are, they are hanging too much of and they don't give volume. So just push it a little bit and then I can tie it together. Pay support. You guys, so we have a, little, a few of uh, decoration stuff. That this is uh, my, my sister's, my little sister's collection. We are going to use them to decorate the tree because she's not around and she's the one who does this thing. So we're doing it for her so that she comes and you know she gets a surprise. So I'm going to show you the items that we have. Of the items here in this box that we've been using. There's this one. There's uh, the balls. There's this sock. There's this one here, there's this, so we're going to put this on the tree so that we can have something close to a Christmas decorated tree, okay? So all these things we bought from an ex-UK shop, which is in Kisumu, and that's why we have several of them here. We have this, so we don't have a star to put at the top, but we want to work with what we have to celebrate Christmas in the village. So I'm going to put one here. There, we have a guitar over there. Wake up, guys. The Christmas tree is halfway done because we. Not, we don't have the plug to plug the lights on but in a, in a moment I'm gonna show you the full uh, look of the Christmas tree and I think it's gonna work for this Christmas you know what do you think about this tree you guys let me know in the comment section below So today is the next day and we're making uh, chapati and mandazi. This is Christmas day, it's the 25th of December, we are celebrating Christmas. We are making some food here and there so that we can enjoy with family and celebrations. I wish you a Merry Christmas from my family to yours. I hope you're having happy holidays. So I'm going to show you what we cook and what we ate on Christmas day. We are going to have chapati, mandazi, and rice. We are going to have meat. I'm going to show all of that in this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more vlogs like this from the village. Traditionally cooking for do. Oh, I wish. We had slaughtered sheep early in the morning, so that's my dad cutting the meat for us in pieces so that we can cook and have a delicious meal. Both roasted, stewed, we did so much on this day. That's it, the meat for the sheep. It has so much fat, you guys. I didn't know that about the sheep. So my dad also went ahead to make for us nyamachoma. In case you're not from Kenya, nyamachoma is uh, roasted meat on the fire like that. And that is what we enjoy during celebrations mostly. Nothing is wasted in the village as I told you in my previous vlog. So this is the head of a sheep and the legs of a cow. We are boiling them to get broth and also we shall eat the meat on another day. Then, this 
are the tribes, the inner, the stomach, the inner, the inner, the inner stuff in the stomach. We also boil them. So you're going to fry. So you're going to have stew from this, and then this will be fried. And then the rest, you're going to have soup from it, you guys. Oh, it's so good. Ah. Guys, in the village, mostly we eat together as a family. As you can see on this table, so after cooking, we sat down on the dining table to eat all of us and celebrate Christmas. And we wish you happy holidays, happy new year from my family to your family. So this is how we also boil water in the village. This is water to go shower. I want to go shower the kids, bath the kids. So this is what I have come up with. This is three fire stone. Then you put firewood from the three ends. And the water is boiling, you know. So this is how we get the water boiled in the village and the, sh the kids shower. And all of us even take a bath with this water. Saying we both, we use water that is boiled on the fire stone because we don't have running water mostly when it's not raining we don't have water so we have to get the water from the river or stored water then we boil it separately because we don't have running showers not all year round at least so that's why we're doing this let me know if you like this kind of content like share and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you in my next one